How well do you think the MSI Katana GF76 can handle God of War 2022? That is what we're going to find out today. Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today we're going to see how well the MSI Katana Yeev 7611UD can handle God of War 2022. And as always, we will aim to get 60 FPS in 1080p if it's possible without sacrificing too much quality. And we will test it with both DLSS enabled and disabled. And let's start by checking out the system requirements. So for the minimum specs, with 30 FPS at 720p with low graphical settings, you're going to need a GTX 960 or an R9 290X and an i5 2500K or an Ryzen 3 1200 with 8 gigs of RAM. Pretty low, I would say. And for the recommended specs, we need a GTX 1060 or an RX 570 with an i5 6600K or an Ryzen 5 2400G with 8 gigs of RAM. That we get as original graphical settings with 30 fps in 1080p and high specs with 60 fps in 1080p with original graphical settings we need an gtx 1070 or an rx 5700 xt with an i7 4770k or an ryzen 7 2700 with 8 gigs of ram so this is not a very ram heavy game and i think we should be able to get 1080p 60 fps and recommended specs, 60 FPS in 1440p with high settings, we need an RTX 2070 or an RX 5700 XT with an i7 7700K or a Ryzen 7 3700X with 16 gigs of RAM. And for ultra specs, 60 FPS in 4K with ultra graphical settings, we need an RTX 3080 or an RX 6800 XT with an i9 9900K or an Ryzen 9 3950X with 16 gigs of RAM. So now with the specs out of the way, let's get right into the game and see how well this laptop can handle it. So now here we are in the beginning and uh, at the moment we're getting 40 plus FPS in 1080p with the original settings. And smash the tree! And as always, I will always test this more off camera. This is just to get a feeling for how it runs with different settings. And cinematic in process. Sometimes I wish I could just skip them. Let's jump forward when the cinematic is done. So now cinematic is done and let's start moving around. Beautiful looking game. And right here we are pretty stable, but there is not a lot going on. So let's skip to a part where something is actually happening. Now finally something is happening. Oh, come on. Ooh, 
That was a great improvement. Take that. Is there no one else? Here, the LSS is really, really good. But I'm not seeing the numbers from the previous one, but this is more stable, I think. At least it feels like it. Okay, now, come on. Yeah, come on! And we got a feeling for it. I mean, the LSS is really good at this. But I'm gonna test this some more off camera and let's see how it performs. And so, God of War 2022. We ran it with no motion blur, no V-Sync, with the original graphical preset. And, when, and we did run the LSS. We ran it in balanced mode. And for the performance, with no DLSS, with an average FPS of 40.1, with 1% low of 30.3. And with DLSS enabled, set to balanced, we got an average FPS of 59.8 and a 1% low of 45.9. And that is a significant improvement. I bet you could get a lot higher FPS if you set it to performance mode. And so that's God of War 2022 for you. Would you play it on this laptop? Do you find it balanced and uh, well going? Leave it in a comment down below. And as always, I'll see you all very soon in the next one.